sometimes the feeding tube that connects from where you eat to your stomach is very, very, very narrow or completely missing or blocked. What is that called? It's called some form of esophageal atresia. So remember, the word atresia means that there's a blockage, there's a discontinuity. And there are several forms of esophageal atresia. What most of us think of is that there is a discontinuation between the esophagus um, in that the mouth tube down through the throat into the chest does not connect to the stomach. Interestingly enough, because um, the esophagus and the trachea, that's the breathing tube, are kind of formed from the same analog, when there is separation and when there is some element of growth, there may be some factors that don't trigger the growth for the esophagus. So what that means is that you can have a variation of either a blocked esophagus, which is just a tube that's blocked, and then the other end is blind that goes down into the stomach, or there may be a connection between the esophagus and the trachea, where so that the breathing tube, which usually just goes into the lungs, may also have a passageway or a connection with the distal aspect of the esophagus, so that if you try to eat, the baby will swallow, the food cannot go down the esophagus, will pour out and then go into his lungs, which gives the symptom of coughing or choking, which is what these newborns get. And then it will, it will cause them to have aspiration and pneumonias. 